Hi, my name is Tight Ass Chan. Some people call me Tight Ass Chan. But anyway, I'm going to talk about my son who's in high school. He's learning to become a DJ. And uh, so how do you compete against the bigger boys with all their toys and lights and everything? So I found the simplest way to do it, and um, it seems to work. For one thing, all DJs have table. Table from the school or from any venue, they all supply the table. Because that's one less equipment that you want to carry. Now, how do you dress up that table and to make it look good? And that's what I'm coming up next. I researched on the internet um, and I found this. You see this picture? I thought, wow, this looks great for my son's table. They come in four and six foot lengths. And it's stretchable, it's a lycra. Um, and uh, the idea I had was to put lights underneath, shine anything in front of it. It will act like a screen. And it will enhance the entertainment or the DJ experience by putting anything in front of it or inside of it. Some of the DJ's uh, skirts that I looked up online, they had like slits in the front of the table like this so you can hide the cords under. But when you shine the light from inside, the cords will show through the, through the screen like a shadow puppet. So I didn't care for that. I wanted something simple and it's not that hard to... People usually see the front. They don't see the top um, as much. Okay. But anyway, uh, then I ordered from two companies. One from a, um, was really cheap and I ordered that and the other one was a little bit more expensive and I'll tell you the difference on both of them. On the cheaper one, the Chinese, it was made in China, I found on the package. As you can see, there is a, like a elastic that's sewn onto the Lycra. So the, in fact, what it is, is that uh, the legs will fit into this cup, like so. And as you can see, the, the Lycra part, or the elastic part is right here, and the cloth is back here. So what I didn't like about it was that when I stretched it over, this part is fine just that it started to have a slight ripping sound right here and um, I didn't care for that so the, again the elastic part is here the lycra and the elastic is here so it's just sewn right around here as you can see just onto it so it just attaches on next company I found was this company called Premier Table Linens Premier Table Lens, can you see it? Okay. They're pretty good because um, they had, uh, this is their elastic and it's a full elastic that goes, it forms like a cup uh, that goes all the way around and it's sewn on three sides. And this is where you put the table leg in, let's see, right here, that goes right inside. As you can see, there's elastic all the way around. So in other words, if you shove the leg in, if you shove the leg in, it doesn't have a tendency to rip because this is pretty thick ela uh, elastic. Not like the material which is like this, very thin and have a tendency to rip. The Chinese one, like I said, is only half and it's sewn onto the fabric. This thing is like a full cup and then sewn onto the fabric. Okay, as you can see here, see the color, the color difference? So it looks like something like this. Pretend this is the elastic and it's sewn three ways, three sides. And then they put it open so you can stick the leg of the cup in, uh, the leg into the cup so it doesn't rip. And then they sew this onto the fabric itself. Okay, so it's like sewn onto the fabric. And this is what it is. It looks like this.
I just showed you the difference on the leg, uh, that where the legs go for the tables. Now I'm going to show you on the outside uh, what it looks like. And you see the difference between the Chinese and the Premier Table Linens. And what it looks like. So I'll be stretching it onto this table and then you can judge for yourself. I just stretched the Chinese uh, Lycra on the four foot table. And there's three things that I don't like about it. One is the, the arch on the bottom. As you can see, this arch is pretty wide. On a six foot, it's even wider and higher. So you get to see the fixture pretty much on the bottom. The When I stretch the legs onto this, I notice slight kind of like ripping sound. So again, that bothers me. It's not going to last long, I think. I may have to use this for something else later on. And um, the other thing is the seam, as you see on here, it doesn't fit that well. But again, when you're at night, the light is shining on the Lycra, you don't notice any of those things. But I think this will last several gigs, and I think the better quality one will last a lot, a lot more. Okay, now I stretch their premier table linen Lycra one on the four foot table. And as you can see, it fits very well. And if you notice the, what I noticed and I didn't like of the Chinese one was the, the spacing underneath right here. You see this area right here? This area? It's closer to the ground and I like it. Because uh, if, you have, if you're on a stage, you cannot see the light fixture underneath. But you can see just a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's, it's better. I can probably even stretch it even more down. If the seams fit around the table very well, again, it's a very well-made, uh, stretchable table linen. I think it's be perfect if you when you put your DJ equipment on and anything. I seen on the YouTube where one DJ said, "Oh, you got to be careful because um, another brand that he got, um, you know, I guess this must be cheaply made because he said he's worried about ripping, or when you put your um, gig, uh, your equipment on it, it'll stretch or rip or something." This is pretty tough. I mean, it, I was pretty amazed um, how tough this thing is. And uh, again, Premier Table Linen also makes uh, a cap or like a bonnet, stretchable like a bonnet that will fit on top, the top area of this, this part. In other words, the bottom will be white and the color can be red on the top. It can be blue, any color black. Uh, they have a variety of colors. It's like a bonnet. So it's, it'll give it a, another look if you really want to. Um, the owner is very good, Tony, and um, he, you just tell him what you like and he'll ask you what kind of table it is, uh, what kind of legs the table has, and, you know, they'll make it right there, they'll, as, as it's ordered. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit expensive, but the quality will outlast um, a long time. I think it will just be worth it to buy one time and others just for back up or another table in the back. I bought a four and I bought a six, six foot table, just in case. Uh, so I, I can take it anywhere with me. I can just crumple it up, put it in a bag, stretch it out, wrinkles gone. Uh, the Chinese one I noticed, like when I put it on today, uh, the one before, it had a little, when I shoved the legs in, it just kind of a little rip sound. This one, nothing. It was pretty good. Again, must be that um, uh, that stretchable uh, cup that they put in. Uh, it's not the fabric, but it's like um, like not like a, but um, hmm. okay. What I did was I put a um, black light underneath the table. Underneath the table, as you can see, it gives it a nice glow. Another thing that I noticed too was on this YouTube where they had a something a skirt like this uh, from another company.
they had slits on the sides on the table so you can they said that you can put your cords through so it will be hidden and will cleaner and neat but if you shine a light through from underneath you're gonna see those cords um, show through you know like a like a black silhouette uh, just like these legs you see these legs and can you imagine the cords going down and you can see that as the light shines out so I think this is a far better way um, to do it I'm gonna try different lights underneath it as you see I put some color lights and it's changing I don't know if it, this camera doesn't show it really nice but uh, in person it looks really beautiful and it's changing to all different colors so there's a lot of things that you can put you can even put laser lights behind it they'll look awesome uh, the other thing that I found out I tried today um, I put a black light in front of it it looks really good and um, there's many ideas that you can do with this to make it look really outstanding as you see I put this um, bliss light in front of it so it acts like a like a screen and um, it's really nice uh, it sparkles I think it looks really good some people don't like the laser shining in their face and this is a good alternative another one is that we have a, a lycra in the background stretched where we shine the lasers on to it and I found out it works very better I mean much better than shining it on the people especially if it's a high school gig and these kids tend to stare right at the laser lights and this way it just it doesn't bother anybody so when you're finished you take the lycra off the table you put it into a plastic bag like this to the next time and that's it that's all you have to do because when you take it out again it'll be wrinkle free it'll stretch out really nice and uh, that's it that's all there is just remember the lycra will stretch out wrinkle free it acts like a movie screen so whatever it stretch out nice it'll be a perfect movie screen background again you can shoot a projector in the front light inside whatever in the back I'm gonna get a lycra a bigger piece of lycra I found a way to hold it up uh, with this painter stand um, I'm gonna shoot lights in the back movie or movies or lasers from the back of that thing can you imagine how beautiful that is going to be just stretched out behind the DJ white lycra and then all these color lights and things are pumping through it and the table will have a black light underneath just gives it a nice purplish glow it's gonna be amazing and I think it gives it the wow factor uh, that I know I'm Titus Chan and I was trying to find the cheapest and the best way to do it. If you got a lot of money, you don't need to watch this video. You can watch all these others with the lasers that shoot all over the room and fantastic. I mean, I've done that. I watched all those videos and I was like, wow, I got to get one of those. I got to get this. I got to get that. And then later on, I was chasing. I was just chasing because everything gets outdated. But one thing never gets outdated is tables. Um, simple background projection and um, I had this laser that was obsolete already and now I'm shooting it in the background um, underneath the tables and stuff because uh, I found out the high school kids don't like it it's shining in their eyes uh, so I'm trying to make use of what I've got already and um, practice and enjoy